everyone, so today I'm doing a question and answers video. I really like doing these videos because they're interesting for me to hear like what you guys are wondering about and just like clear some stuff up that you guys may have questions about and just also kind of it's a better way for you guys to kind of get to know me as a person and just kind of more than just like the makeup and the fashion and the beauty and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. But as always, if you'd like to be included in these videos, I always ask for questions on my Facebook fan page, which is just Megan Hart's makeup on Facebook. So I'll have that link below if you want to check it out. I will also have my Twitter link, um, Instagram, blockers, everything, just pretty much every place on the internet that I am besides YouTube. The links will be below if you want to check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the first question. The first question comes from Rachel and she said, what is your favorite place to buy formal dresses from? And this is a great question because I think when you're going to go to a formal event, whether it be prom or like a winter formal or homecoming, um, most of the time I would think you probably want to stand out and you also want a dress that no one else has. So I think ordering online can be good because you can find dresses that other people maybe don't have access to or aren't going to buy the same one because you just have more choices online, I feel like. Um, I know at least where I live, like for example, if you go into Nordstrom's around homecoming time, they'll have about maybe 10 to 20 different dresses. Um, but they'll have multiple of the same dresses in different sizes and stuff and sometimes in different colors. And so if you go to like the store and you buy your dress there, a lot of the times other girls will have the same dress on as you or they'll have the same dress but in a different color or something like that just because they're all at one store. So I really do think ordering online can help you get a dress that no one else is going to have. The only problem is sometimes you don't know how it's going to fit or how it's going to look in person. So if you're going to order online, um, my favorite stores are definitely ASOS.com. I really like Lulu's as well. And other than that, I think, hmm, those are like my two top choices, I think, for like formal dresses online. I think um, Toby.com and Nasty Gal, they have cute ones too, um, but sometimes they're like a little bit more wild. So definitely probably ASOS is my top choice. But what I would definitely do is order it early. So it, you have time for it to come in and look at it. And then if it doesn't work, you can go ahead and you know send it back and then find something else. For more formal dresses, I really like promgirl.com. Um, rent the Runway is really cool. They have basically, you get to rent the dresses and their designer dresses and then you can send them back after your event so you don't have to keep the dress, which is great for things like prom and stuff when you wanna get a big like floor length gown but you kind of feel like, where else am I gonna wear this to? Um, I think Rent the Runway is a great choice. So overall, I would say I like to buy formal dresses and stuff and dresses for special events online, but definitely do it early to make sure that you have time if it doesn't work out to send it back and um, just try something different because I think it's always fun to be like the one girl that stands out um, in everyone. So the next question comes from Stasia and she says, what is your favorite blush? And I'm kind of in the market for a new blush right now. I got the new Amazonian clay, or it's not new, but new to me, the Amazonian clay blush. Um, and I really liked it and I, um, I just really like the formula of it. It's very, very soft and smooth, um, but it is a powder and normally I really like cream blushes. So I definitely kind of want to look into maybe a different cream blush. So if you guys have any recommendations on a good cream blush for me to try out, let me know. I like more kind of pink and kind of bronzy tones. I don't really like corals very much. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them because currently I don't really have a favorite. Um, Iris says, do you have a close group of friends? And I would say that I have probably about five friends that I really, really trust that I feel like I can tell anything to and that I feel like have my best interests at heart just as being my friend and like being genuine and true and then other than that I have like a lot of friends that maybe aren't as close like emotionally and all that kind of stuff but are still good friends and still fun to hang out with and stuff I think in high school it's kind of difficult um, and definitely like my friend groups have like changed and shifted over the years but for the most part I've stayed pretty um, tight with like my smaller group of friends but overall I think with friends you know if you grow out of each other and you kind of just start doing different things into different things you know it's okay to have friends that maybe you don't hang out with all the time but they're still really close with you and I just think that it, it's really hard to grow up and kind of change friends but it's just kind of part of life and just know that it happens to everyone and it's just kind of how it goes. Emily says, how long are your extensions? And they are 20 inches, but she cut, I think, about a two, almost two inches off the bottom just to like trim them up. And I am going to do a full video all about them. Um, they are like the little tiny ones that have like the little like beads 
if you can see there's one of them so it's just like a little tiny bead that like slips over your natural hair and then there is the extension and you can curl dye cut them everything like your normal hair because it is human hair it's not synthetic or anything obviously um and i like them a lot more than clip-ins just because obviously they're in your hair always you don't have to clip them in i feel like they show a lot less than clip-ins and they also are more comfortable for me and i also think obviously they're better quality for some reason just because when i would use clip-ins i would kind of have to replace them like every six months and I think this hair is supposed to be good for up to a year to a year and a half depending on how gentle and how well you take care of it but I will be doing a more in-depth video about my extensions and everything just so you guys can kind of um, get more info on them because I've had a lot of questions about them um, okay the next question is from Inez and she says are you more extroverted or introverted and I think probably introverted but I mean I am shy and I like to kind of keep to myself definitely with like my problems and issues maybe that sounds like contradictory because I tell you guys all this stuff but um like just like when I'm in my group of friends I'm not the one always just like spilling out like what's going on in my life all these like you know things that are happening and stuff I kind of just keep to myself and then if I'm like asked about it I'll come out and tell them um but definitely when I'm meeting people I actually make an effort to be outgoing and friendly because I think when you're first meeting someone if you're really shy um, it can come off as like you being standoffish or stuck up and I definitely don't ever want people to think that just because I'm kind of shy so I kind of like force myself to like you know be like hi I'm Megan nice to meet you and like try to like I don't know just do that because I feel like once you do that people always have a positive reaction like if you go up to someone with a big smile and you're really friendly like more often than not like if they're like a nice person they'll be nice back and friendly back to you the next question comes from Bailey and she says do you think being sexually active before marriage is acceptable do you encourage it what are your thoughts and I think this is such a controversial and like personal question and I really would like to make a video kind of going more in depth just about like the pressures on girls and like the pressure to just, I don't know, maybe that guys are pressuring you or maybe you feel like all your friends are doing it so you feel like you kind of want to do it too. Um, and just like being ready and I guess just also um, just knowing that like it's your complete choice on when you want to do something or if you don't want to do something and just not letting other people affect you. And I feel like there's no real answer that would work for every person because every person is different and every situation is different. But I definitely have a lot of just like stories and thoughts and just from my friends and people that even aren't my friends and just hearing different stuff and like having different girls tell me different situations I think I really could give you some good guidance and some just kind of non-judging guidance and just information and stuff and I know it's kind of hard to talk about that stuff with your parents and stuff but it definitely is something that you need to discuss and that you need to talk to with someone that you trust and that you um just look up to and that you really do trust because it is a big deal and I just I feel like I would have to have more of like a, a more in-depth video to like answer those questions and stuff but let me know if you guys would be interested in that if it's too personal and not something you guys would want to see let me know um but yeah just let me know in the comments whatever it may be um Jenny says what's your favorite chick flick I really like bridesmaids it's like the funny chick flick I would like to watch um, I love 13 Going on 30. That is one of my favorites with Jennifer Garner. And I love how it's like in the 80s and stuff. It's just so cute. Um, I also really like A Walk to Remember, which is like my favorite like romantic chick flick. Um, yeah, so those are like my favorite chick flicks. Mean Girls, of course. Everyone loves that. Um, Jesse, oh, Jenny also says, what is your favorite horror movies? Scariest movie, in my opinion, I think is The Hills Have Eyes. Just because the whole setting and the whole thought of being like out in the middle of nowhere just is scary to me um i actually saw the new texas chainsaw massacre in 3d yesterday and i didn't think it was that great i thought it was going to be more of like an explanation of that but it i mean it was just a bunch of like bloody killing and stuff um but the new horror movie called mama which comes out pretty soon looks really scary and i think i'm gonna go see that i personally love scary movies but um yeah so Jesse says, what's your worst injury? Definitely probably when I broke my nose. I broke my nose when I was, I, okay, in sixth grade and I was at cheerleading camp and we were doing a basket toss and I was looking up to catch her and she was coming down and I just, I don't know what happened and somehow she kicked me in the face and then my nose broke and um, at first I was kind of like stunned and I didn't cry and then it started to hurt and I started to cry and then I had like a black eye for like a week just because I guess where it hit my nose caused my eye to 
be black and I don't know I never had to like get surgery or anything on it but um, yeah I did break my nose and that was just painful and um, I don't know definitely probably the worst injury I've had I've never really broken any other bones um, I think I broke my toe but I mean that wasn't that bad Sylvia says, why have you not been as consistent with making videos? Well, I was sick, really, really sick, and I never get sick, but I was sick for like two weeks straight. You could hear it in my voice. I just felt horrible, and that was even after I felt a lot better, actually, which is kind of funny, because before that, I literally just, I was so sick. And then, other than that, I was on Christmas break, so, you know, it was just really hectic with the holidays and family and just going in and out of town and you know, holiday parties and all that kind of stuff. And then a lot of my friends are actually in town from college that went away for school. So I just wanted to spend time with them and like hang out and see people that I haven't been able to see since like summer. Um, so I guess that's why I kind of haven't been making videos as consistently, but I'm definitely getting back on track. I definitely want to make them more consistent and I definitely will try to do that. Kristen says, what's a bad beauty habit that you have? Definitely picking my nail polish. Like when I'll just be bored, I'll just start like peeling it off and that's bad because it's all chipped and messed up. Um, another one would be brushing my hair with a brush when it's wet, which I know you're supposed to use a comb. Sometimes I just get impatient with a comb and I'm just like, I just need to get my hair straight and I'll use a brush, but you really shouldn't do that because it can break your hair and stuff. Um, Ashley says, did you like the movie Pitch Perfect? I actually did. Um, my little sister was begging me to watch it with her, and I was like, no. Like, I just, I didn't think it'd be something I would like. I kind of don't like comedies, which is kind of weird, but I just, I don't know. I just, a lot of things that, like, in comedies, like, people think are funny, I guess. Like, I don't find funny. Um, just, like, silly humor and stuff, and so I really didn't think I would like it, but I watched it, and I actually really, really did like it. Um, so, if you have been bothered to watch Pitch Perfect and you don't want to watch it because you think you won't like it, definitely give it a try because I actually really did think it was hilarious and it actually was a pretty good movie. Keisha says, do you ever want to get a tattoo? And I've talked about this a little bit, um, but yes, I think eventually I do. I think actually my next thing is going to be my second piercing, like my second earlobe piercings. I'm not sure if I want to do two or just one. I mean, let me know what you guys have, like if you would do two or one or whatever, but I definitely kind of want to do that. Um, and as far as a tattoo, I'm kind of not great with pain, so that would be the kind of, you know, the downside, but I'm really obsessed with, like, angel wings and the whole thought of angel wings, and I definitely would want to do something kind of in memory of Ben and something with angels and, like, angel wings, so I'm not sure where it would go, what it would look like. I know angel wings would be kind of detailed, so that probably would be kind of painful, um, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm, I'm thinking somewhere on my back, maybe, so it can be hidden if I want or, I don't know, maybe somewhere, like, on my, I don't, I don't even know, honestly. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But definitely something with angel wings. I just think um, they're so pretty, and I love the meaning behind it. And just, I don't know, it would be perfect for being in memory of Ben and everything. So, those are all the questions I'm going to answer today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon. And I hope you guys have a great night. Bye, everyone.